Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California. I make acting related videos every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. And today we're going to look at the new Casting Network's website. I logged in a few days ago when they first um, released the new website and my account was a little wonky. It was missing some buttons and I knew it was missing some buttons and missing just in general some of the things that it should look like um, because I had an Australian Casting Networks account that I um, created an account for just to see what the new one looked like um, about a month ago and I just was like oh I don't know about this this doesn't look right and then I logged in again and realized hey it's starting to come together. So if you're if you already logged on and your yours is looking a little strange, be patient. Log in every day as you would. And um, before we get started on looking at this really quickly, I do want to tell you that I'm not an expert because this just came out, um, and I'm an actress. I use this. My agents also use this. So you know, I'm just learning with you. I did read a lot of the information that they sent out and I have been just playing around with the website a lot to see how things work. Um, so today we're just going to look at this website and then in the following videos we are going to look at the media, um, how to rearrange photos, add them, how to add your agent, um, how to create a personal profile in case you do have an agent and you still want to self-submit. So I'm going to be making a lot of videos but still let me know in the comments if you do have any additional questions um, or things that you want me to look into for you. The last thing before we go on here onto the computer is that if you have an agent, uh, especially if you have an agent, but just in general, and if you ha and you haven't logged on, please go log on right now um, because they changed all of the websites. So before you you could have probably your username probably was like your first name last name something like that. Mine used to be that Belgica Rodriguez, but now they're having you identify yourself more uniquely by having a specific um, username that is an email. I can imagine that that makes the whole software very difficult to use for casting agents and, um, sorry, <laughs> casting directors and talent agents. Um, so go do that. Make sure you log in. It's not hard at all. I promise. Um, I'll show you guys a clip of me logging into the website um, the first time around and then we will jump on this. So let's go look at the website the first time I logged in. Okay, so of course, uh, click login and then it's going to take you to pretty much the same thing that I was taking you before. I was thinking, should I log into the LA, San Francisco? It wasn't letting me log into the normal one, so I ended up changing it to the San Francisco one, which is my currently paid one. And um, because it was my first time logging in, I needed to do my old password and username. And then after that, it's going to ask you to now create your new account with your email and a new password. So instead of using the username they used to have, now it's an email and then verify the information on this uh, following pro on the following profile. And um, I do see that this is the San Francisco one. And for some reason, I decided to, I ended up deciding to do LA. I think I was just thinking, oh, it must be the only one that's going to represent me. Well, this ended up being my San Francisco one. So it does have a primary location, a uh, working location, and it has a bunch of different places that you can choose from. Um, I ended up just typing it in. And then for the uh, age and ethnicity, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, and then it, puts you through a few things, um, give, tells you a little bit of the new stuff that they have available. So you can sign into one account and then be able to manage a few different um, or one login and manage a few different things. And then it tells you, you can highlight your credits and the clip on top of your profile. So just a little easier to see, and you can upload audition straight to this website, which we will go over in a different video. And for this one, because I couldn't seem to find the um, claim additional uh, accounts button and it did not have it I ended up just clicking up here and creating a personal profile again we'll go over that in a separate video okay so now let's look at this casting networks website like I said this this now is my second time logging in so let's log in it still looks pretty much the same when you do the login because when you click log in on the Casting Network's homepage, it still has you open up a new tab and go log in on another page. 
It's taking a little bit to load. In a different video, we can go ahead and claim other accounts, but this one, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I don't wanna go into too much in this one because the video would be very long. Um, so this is my profile, which it looks so much nicer than before. I still need to add about me right here, but um, for this one, like I mentioned, it is my San Francisco one. For this account, it says my primary location, San Francisco, height, weight, age. I have a highlighted credit here. And then of course, if you just wanna add or change anything, you just press edit. Um, but here are the photos, the videos. Um, for the photos, the biggest file that I did was four megabytes, which is, a decent sized photo and it was able to upload it. I do have more photos that I need to put here. Like I got some new headshots a couple of weeks ago. So I need to put them there. Your videos, so these can be your reels or clips in general, audio. So you can see it's a lot nicer. Um, for the credits, I don't remember if in the last one, in the last website I was asking you like this, but I definitely need to add a bunch of credits. And then lower, it has more personal information like my email number, and then it asks you about um, role preferences and appearance. So all of this stuff is really, you know, normal. Oh, this, this is a new thing that I don't know that the other one had, or maybe I just never saw it, the copy shareable profile file link. So then if you copy and paste it, you can see what your profile looks like and you can share your profile um, if you're seeking representation or if somebody's interested in casting you, um, you know, and they want to see something from you, you can share this with them. And this is, you know, your little profile and they can see your skills if you have certain skills, your resume, everything that we were looking at in the profile. And of course, there's a preview uh, link to the right here and it's the same thing as if you were to copy and paste that profile link um but it's oh here it is okay yeah it's the same thing so let's go to the top and go through everything quickly so casting billboards this is where you find your audition so because i am on my san francisco account with which is attached to my agents i cannot self-submit on this account because this account is the one that my agents used to submit I know it's a little confusing. I wish there was just a drop down menu of like self submission, self submission, because obviously you're not going to submit on behalf of your agents. Um, so there's a nice filter over here, a lot more filters. Um, and then you can select your union, a list of unions, um, roles, uh, sorry, role, gender, projects, ethnicities, age, um, so, and then they have switched to months for toddlers, which I'm assuming, I'm sure it's very, very convenient for, um, parents that have accounts for their children. But, um, let me show you an example of me not being able to submit because this is my agent's account. Wait, before we do that, I want to show you the filters. So now you can filter to see jobs in a bunch of different places. And let's look at the locations. Okay. Location three selected. So I selected LA and then NorCal, San Francisco, and Sacramento, because I'm able to work as a local in all of those. And that's why um, I was seeing an LA one. So let me go ahead and take this off just for to show you as an example, the San Francisco one. Okay, so this is for background, it looks like. Oh no, business professional, oh, yeah, background BG. So I'm going to submit to this role in the bottom. And then it says create a personal profile use or uh, create a personal profile using your profile. <laughs> so you need a personal profile to submit to roles to casting billboard. You can create one now using the information from your profile. Don't worry, it's free to create. Yes, you can create one maybe later. I know I already have another LA one. We'll go through all of that together in the next one because I haven't done that yet but I know I can't use this specific profile and I am paying for casting network. So I know I should be able to self submit because I'm paying for it. So that's what would happen if you only have your account that is attached to your agents, which is this one. Okay. So we did that. We already saw the profile earlier. And so now let's go to the media bank. So, um, in the past it was pretty hard to, you know, add and remove photos, but basically these, when you go to your media bank, you see everything and then you can select to hide or not hide your, uh, media. And if, um, and if your agent uploaded photos onto your casting webs, uh, casting networks, the one that's attached to them, you can't delete photos. It'll tell you media uploaded by representation can be deleted, media bank, but you can hide it from your profile. And then if we go to something that I just uploaded right now, then I can delete the photo. 
So that's that. These are all of the photos. And then I will go more into detail in the media specific video that will will um, will come out very soon. Um, but then here are the videos. And for the videos, I um, I haven't tried. I uploaded this video today just as a sample. And that one was almost 100 megabytes. So it's a pretty decent size. I know in the past they have had a limit through to 300 megabytes. And then the audio... It's taken a little to load. Here we go. And then audio, of course, and then you can add more. So that seems like it's so much more user friendly. And then your alerts, I don't have any. Uh, it has a filter, which is pretty cool. So I can do, I just wanna see like the May alerts. Well, I guess that's one of the, but okay, here we go. It was just a little slow. Yeah, I don't have any alerts from May. Um, and then the last thing is your submissions. I haven't submitted to anything yet. I haven't submitted anything yet on this account because it is attached to my agents. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as like the main section. And then if you go up here to the right on your name, um, I did create a personal account here just to see like what that was because my claim additional accounts button was not here the first time I logged in, which is why I created that one. But um, so this is just another account. So this is the one I have with MDT with my agents in San Francisco. And then um, this one is the one I created because I couldn't find that button. And then account settings, account details, notifications. So you can get email, text messages, membership and billing. Of course, that's where you can change from monthly to yearly. Um, profile settings. And see, this is what, um, what this one looks like. I haven't activated at all or anything. Um, oh, yes. That's another cool thing that I remember. So let's go back to profile settings and I'm going to click on the one I have with my agent so you can drop your representation here if you uh, or drop the profile um so that you're not attached to like that specific agent if you got a new one or whatever and then you can book your our book add booked out date so if you book a job and you know you know I can't audition for anything for these days or have a wedding or a vacation or something you can add it here which is pretty cool so that when your agents are submitting you to something they're like oh they're out of town so you know they're not even going to be able to do this waste of time let's not submit them to that claim additional account so this is where I would add my LA casting account but uh, we're going to do that in a different video because I don't know how long that's going to take and then that's it log out um, so this is the new casting networks page or website it definitely looks really good. I have heard of a lot of people who are having issues with it that it's a bit buggy. Definitely the first time I logged in I was missing a lot of things. Now it's starting to um, work a little bit better. It still takes quite a while to load certain pages. Um, but I know just with you know any other thing sometimes any other website things can get buggy um i understand that stuff like this can sometimes take a while especially when you have so many actors and talent agents and casting directors that use these websites you know they're using it all over the world so i'm being patient and hopefully a lot of things change so even using what we just went through today once you log in it might be a little bit different if you don't have a casting networks account um, and you're considering it i definitely uh, suggest researching in your area if there's actually jobs around you or if you're going to be doing it remotely that you are actually close enough where you can drive over because a lot of the time they will not pay for your gas or travel or anything like that because these um casting networks is more oriented towards the commercial side as far as i know and um, some background stuff it's just not worth it to get it if you aren't going to be able to actually use it um so make sure you do your research on this i have a lot of other videos on casting networks you know the previous website version but it's still pretty much the same service look out for the other videos like i mentioned let me know if you have any additional questions i'd be happy to look into it and learn together um thank you so much for watching and at the end of every video i feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment